Jim Phillips had a lot to talk about. The ACC commissioner, he spoke to begin ACC Media Days just the other day. And some interesting topics that came out of this. Start off with this one. He mentioned revenue one time in his opening statements. That was 13, 14 minutes, whatever it was. Revenue was then mentioned 13 times after that in the Q&A. I'm a little... Everybody knows what the situation is here. You are going to have Big Ten and SEC teams that are making almost triple, if not more, than what the ACC teams are bringing in with their current contract that goes all the way through 2036. We've talked about this on the show before multiple times. Uh, He did... I will mention that he brought up if Notre Dame is going to join the conference, they are going to join the ACC. I'm sure that he believes that, and contractually he has to say that, right? We we all get the idea here. Notre Dame still has a contract with the ACC, blah, 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 blah. Now, obviously, they can buy out of that, but it is what it is. Um, he did bring up expansion, or or it was brought up to him. Uh, he, he slipped up at one point. He said, our 17 schools... Well, there's only 15 in the ACC, so who was he talking about? But he he said uh, that they are, you know, they are open to expanding. They are open to looking at a bunch of different things. They've already started the process, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, he, he I guess the biggest thing is he said, and this is at the very beginning here of David Cobb's thing, Phillip said on Wednesday that discussions are ongoing about the next iteration of the ACC. He did mention at one point about ESPN and how ESPN wants uh, the ACC to be strong and that ESPN needs to help the ACC be strong. It's this is going to be this is going to be interesting, right? It, I feel like when I listen to Jim Phillips talk, he is still one of the old guard. He still believes in the old amateur version of college athletics. And that's just not the way that this thing is going. It's not the right direction that the sport is going. When you hear guys like Brett Yormark and George Klyovkov talk about adding value to their conference, et cetera, et cetera, they're talking about things on a much different level because they don't know a lot of the stuff that goes on at the university level, right? Jim Phillips was an AD at Northwestern before he joined as the ACC commissioner. He still looks at it from a university level. There's two sides to this. I mean, there is the money side, and it, uh, college athletics is a business, uh, especially college football, mostly college football. But what Phillips uh, has talked about is it, just a, an interesting, I don't know the right words to put it in. It, he sounds more like somebody that still works at a university and not somebody that is out there working on TV contracts, et cetera. So when he brings up ESPN needing the ACC to be strong, et cetera, yes, ESPN does, but it also goes into what this next rumor is about. Uh, By the way, the expansion stuff, uh, everybody online on Twitter has been talking about, does he mean Stanford and Cal? Are they going to bring in two Pac-12 teams? Are they still going to merge with the Pac-12? Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. Obviously, we brought up SMU on the show a couple of weeks ago or last week, whenever it was, but... um, there are rumors abound about possibly going to an unequal revenue sharing model for the bigger schools, which would be Clemson, Florida State, Miami, North Carolina, etc. Right? I don't know that there are enough smaller schools to vote down the grant of rights because I don't know where they would go. Right? I don't know I don't know what the next step for NC State would be. Like, is NC State guaranteed to get into the Big Ten or the SEC? I don't know. What about Wake Forest? What about Boston College? What about, you know, for them, they are kind of riding the coattails of the teams that get the majority of the ratings, right? I'm I'm interested to see what ends up happening because if you end up with, if you end up with unequal revenue shares, We've seen that happen before. We saw the Big 12. We saw Nebraska leave and Texas A&M leave and all this because Texas was able to get more of the money. And we under, everybody understands that Texas is worth more. Just like in the ACC, everybody understands that Clemson is worth more than Wake Forest. In the SEC, I believe everybody understands that Alabama and 
Georgia and Tennessee or whoever are worth more as far as ratings, et cetera, than a team like Mississippi State. But you can't have the conference without the smaller schools. You can't get that revenue without those smaller schools because if you try and go at independent, everybody knows Notre Dame's contract by themselves is not worth a whole lot. They are willingly leaving money on the table at Notre Dame so that they can stay independent. Do all these bigger schools want to go independent so that they don't have to share money with the less than? I don't believe so. I think you are worth more as a group. So when you go to unequal revenue sharing, that's a slippery slope. And I don't know that Jim Phillips and that bunch want to get involved with it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.